Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. My name is Tom. Today I've got another uh, review video for you. My good friends at uh, SG LEDs reached out to me and asked me if I'd like to try out another one of their products. So today it is a 27 watt floodlight light bulb. Um, they gave me two of them, so I plan on doing a little bit of an unboxing and then I'll do a couple of uh, comparisons in my one in my garage and one in my basement and then I will show you kind of like what I plan on using them for and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end so if this interests you stick around okay so here we are at the workbench I'll try to keep these in frame you can see the light bulbs are individually packed just pop this open right here I always appreciate the uh, no frills packaging that these come in. There's no point in keeping them packed and anything elaborate or anything colorful. They're just coming off the shelf from Amazon and coming straight into your home. Uh, so there doesn't need to be a lot of literature on the outside. You just get the, uh, the basic specs here. So what this is, is this is called an A21 LED bulb. It's got a model number, 120 volts in, 27 watt output, it's 4,000 lumens per bulb and the color is uh, 5,000K. So that's going to be a very cold white light, kind of like fluorescent light. Um, Non-dimmable, CRI of 80, and it's an E26 base, which is like a standard light bulb base here in the United States. They always give you their little thank you card right here. Let's pop this open and take a look, take a look inside. Okay. Decently supported, and here it is. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that the uh, lights kind of go around the perimeter of the bulb and aren't just shooting straight out of the middle, which is nice. Um, you, you see it's um, the LEDs are sitting on top of a large piece of ceramic, and the ceramic is what helps keep these lights cool, and how they can make these lights so bright um, without worrying about heat dissipation issues. Um, I really like these style of light bulbs because they do not get hot at all. I've reviewed quite a few of these style LED lights and I've left them on for very long periods of time to test and they never got too hot for me to be able to comfortably touch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab both of these And here in my shop, when I'm not using my overhead LED lights that you are seeing right now, I also have some of the old garage lights in here, and they're old CFL bulbs. So let me get set up for that, and I'll explain how I'm going to do this test, or this comparison. Okay, so if you've seen any of my comparison videos in the past, you know that the way I compare these is I lock the ISO, and I lock the exposure on my camera and then I will compare the brightness as perceived through the camera lens at these locked settings so you can compare for yourself the brightness the relative brightness of each thing that I'm comparing so right now these are my overhead LED work lights they're very bright as you can see I have the camera locked at ISO 400 and exposure of zero if I haven't said that already and now I'm going to turn out these lights and only turn on the garage lights so this is how it looks with the garage lights on the garage lights consist of two 23 watt CFLs and as you can tell the light output is quite dim now I'm going to swap these CFLs out with the new SG LED 27 watt floodlights and we'll see how that compares. And here are the SG LED 27 watt 4000 lumen LED floodlights. As you can tell they are much brighter than those CFL light bulbs that I had in the sockets but definitely not as bright as 
the multitudes of LED lights that I use for my workspace, which is to be expected. This is actually pretty nice um, for what they're used for. Um, I'm going to do another test now in the basement. One thing I'm noting is that the light that's thrown against the walls is a lot brighter than the light directly below the bulb, which makes sense because the way this bulb was assembled, there are no downward firing LEDs. All the same, the light bounces off the walls and diffuses pretty evenly across the whole room. Okay, so here's my basement. Um, again, this uh, comparison is just for relative comparative purposes. It may seem a lot dimmer to you than what it is in actual life, but it's just because I'm using a fixed ISO and I can see very you know normally down here. It's not as dark as it seems on your screen, but at ISO 400 through the lens of the camera, this is how much the light, how bright the light is in my basement. Let me just pan up real quick and you can see the individual bulbs there. These are the same 23 watt CFLs that were in my garage so it'll be the exact same um, light bulb comparison just in a different environment. So I'm going to go ahead and swap out these bulbs and then we will do the comparison. So I've swapped out the bulbs and the SG LED 27 watt LED light bulb is definitely definitely has a much higher light output than those 23 watt CFLs and you can see that here in the basement and uh, I really do like the improvement down here I may just leave these down here because it does a really good job once again it diffuses the light pretty well it almost seems like it does a better job than it did in my in my shop um, but I don't know just have you look around at my messy gr or my messy basement here um, my wife does use this basement as a workout space. I'm sure she would appreciate the brighter light. I have other plans for this basement as far as lighting goes though. And, um, it involves installing a lot more fixtures than just two. And I think that would help even out the light even more. So here's the light bulb I plan on replacing. This is uh, the entrance light to my front entryway. It's probably 10, 12 feet up into the archway of our entryway. And it's got a decent light, but I think we can do better. So these are the same ISO settings. ISO 400, exposure zero. And this is what the light looks like right now. If I had to guess, it's probably another one of those CFL lights. Uh, this house was full of them. I think the previous owner got them for free. And so this house was full of these 23 watt CFL bulbs. So it's going to take me a little bit to get it swapped out. And once I do, that's where one of these lights is going to live. I figured before I do that swap, I'll show you what the entryway actually looks like um, from the outside. And so here it is. And uh, wish me luck. I gotta figure out how to get that light fixture open. Okay, so here's what my entryway looks like after installing the uh, 27 watt LED floodlight. Once again, a lot more light. Comparing apples to oranges just a little bit. Because that replaced a great value. Um, I'm trying to find out how many watts this is, but this is a small one. A 14 watt. 900 lumen so I'm gonna take it back into the shop and do a little wrap up here I got some loud cars out in the neighborhood tonight so I'll wrap it up in the shop so the SG LED 27 watt LED floodlight it's a very bright bulb now for full disclosure all these comparisons I was doing I was just comparing to what I already had Obviously, an LED light bulb is going to be brighter and more efficient when compared to a CFL. The CFL bulbs I compared that to were 23 watt, 1600 lumen bulbs. This 27 watt, only 4 watts more, 
is a 4,000 lumen bulb, so it's more than double the output, the light output. The, my front porch light was a 14 watt, 900 lumen. So for just about double the power consumption, you get more than four times the light output. And I don't need to make a case to you about the benefits of LED over other uh, light lighting types. LED is more efficient, it stays cooler, it lasts longer, and uh, obviously watt for watt it's brighter than CFL or incandescent lights. Uh, if I had to give this any type of a drawback, it's just the size, but it's to be expected, right? The bigger the light, the more light you create, the bigger the bulb is going to have to be. So this bulb barely fit in that fixture outside on uh, my front porch. And I was going to use the second one on my back porch, but I believe it's going to be too big for that fixture out there. Um, which is fine. I will definitely find another use for this bulb. I personally think that these lights are some of the best lights on the market. And they are, for the price, you, they are a great deal. The workmanship, the quality, is top notch. I have never Received, I've received many of these uh, brand of lights in the past for reviews and I've never had an issue with any of them. So I'm pretty satisfied with them. Uh, the, the quality, the, there's a weight that kind of denotes quality and a lot of that weight is in the, um, the heat dissipating ceramic uh, fixture that's in here. Um, and this thing is just massive. And it helps a lot because when you're making this much light, a lot of that energy gets converted to heat and it's got to be dissipated efficiently or it will uh, shorten the life of the light bulb itself. And um, SGLED sure does seem to know what they're doing because their lights stay nice and cool. Now the, the element, the ceramic element, does warm up quite a bit, but the light itself stays nice and cool. So anyway, that was my review of the SGLEDs, 27 watt. 4,000 lumen floodlight. I hope you liked it. And if you did, I will leave a link down in the script description below where you can get your own set of these light bulbs. I appreciate everybody watching this video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.